man, and then that one scene, you know, when, when you and all those guys were just right there, you know, and you were fighting, oh, and then that one time when that one character fought, you know, with that one thing, and in the end, when all these people did this thing with these other things, and there, you saw Thanos, and, um, and you saw, you knew, and you just, you just, you, Infinity War is out. Hey guys, it's Woody here, or Will, and welcome to another edition of the weekly Marvel Mingle. And as always, we will be discussing all things going on in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Boy, where do we start? Well, actually, there isn't much news this week, because our main thing, that, you know, what a time to be a Marvel fan. Avengers Infinity War broke the box office opening weekend record. The biggest opening weekend of all time. That belongs to us now. 630 million in its first opening weekend. I can't even imagine, you know, what the following weeks will hold for Infinity War and wow. I mean, after seeing it, guys, wow. We have waited so long, so many years, and we finally saw it. Um, hopefully you got a chance to see Infinity War. If you didn't, well, get out there, man. Just just go see it. It's so amazing, so worth it. But make sure you're caught up with the Marvel movies because really, to feel the full effect of Infinity War, you gotta see all the other ones. Anyway, let's get into the newer stuff. We, we really have two main things. So we got our first look as young Nick Fury in Captain Marvel. And he's looking great. He's got hair, which is crazy to see on Nick Fury, on Samuel L. Jackson. And uh, he's got two eyes. So that'll be really fun to see. You can see the little dots on Samuel L. Jackson's face for the CGI process of de-aging him. You know, we have seen Marvel do that with Michael Douglas as Hank Pym, with Kurt Russell as Ego. Um, so we definitely know that they can pull it off. So I cannot wait to see what Fury looks like in Captain Marvel with all of the effects finished. Now, after all the chaos and heartbreak from Infinity War, we can settle down for a little while until next year when we just get tugged right on our heartstrings. Anyway, we get a little break, guys. Ant-Man and the Wasp is on the way, so we know that that should probably be a funny, heartwarming, exciting adventure. Very lighthearted, so that'll be fun. That'll be a good refreshment from just the huge weight of Infinity War. Um, so we got a new poster, and we finally got our first look as Michelle Pfeiffer as Janet Van Dyne. So we will be exploring the microverse in this movie. Also, right there in the corner of the screen, of the poster, uh, rather, we get to see Walton Goggins' role. Yeah, I don't really think we know who Walton Goggins uh, is playing yet, but Marvel released a really cool promo for Ant-Man and the Wasp promoting the new trailer that is coming. As I'm filming this, it is still the day before. So, for me, trailer tomorrow. Anyway, we'll probably get some more um, looks at Lawrence Fishburne playing Goliath. Hopefully, we get to see some more Luis, because you can never get enough of Louise. Maybe we'll get to see a little bit more of the ghost. Yeah, once again, the promo that they did, you know, kind of saying, where were Ant-Man and the Wasp during uh, Infinity War? I just went through all the Avengers kind of saying this. Scarlett Johansson even kind of teased like, oh, uh, are they where Hawkeye is? Hey, I think that if Hawkeye showed up in this movie for a little bit, that would be flipping cool if we found out, you know, halfway through that Hawkeye was going to be in this film as a supporting role. How cool would that be? A buddy comedy film? I think we would need a Team Thor series, except it is a version with Ant-Man and Hawkeye just kind of, you know, going out, doing stuff, getting pizza, you know, drinking beers at home, 
uh, cracking jokes about how they're sitting there while there's an Infinity War going on. I don't know. Something funny like that. But anyway, I said this before Infinity War came out, but they're jumping right into Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, promotion. So, you know, usually after the second trailer, you know, we'll be seeing TV spots and all that. So, this is what I expected. Marvel will probably go heavy on the promotion for Ant-Man and the Wasp now that Infinity War is out there. And it's just gonna... The, the, the numbers will just keep growing with Infinity War at the box office. And I can't wait for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Get to Marvel. Uh, Nick Fury looking awesome. That is it for today. Thanks for watching this week's edition of the Marvel Mingle. Let me know down below what you want to talk, what you want me to talk about next, and uh, I'll make it happen. Uh, so let's get a cool, geeky discussion going down in the comments. I will see you in the next one. Wait! I forgot to do the thing. Whew.